Hey folks, Dave here. Hope everybody's well today. I've got a uh, an order to do some uh, Thanksgiving coasters. So we're going to jump in light burn and set up a template and uh, cut it out of this cardboard, which I, I have a newfound respect for uh, using cardboard to do templates. In the past, I've done all kinds of silly math and everything else, and uh, those days are gone. I'm using cardboard from now on. You can, uh, it doesn't have to be square, uh, this one is, but it doesn't have to be. The key thing is to have it tied tightly to the bed. And if you do that, you can just leave it in place until you finish your job, toss it out, and for the next job, just get yourself a new piece of cardboard. So uh, let's jump into light burn and set this up. Okay, we're in light burn. So you want to go up and grab an ellipse, a circle. Press the shift key and just drag one out and let go of your mouse. Um, so our coaster is four inches. So rather than you watch me try to do math, go right here and you can change millimeters to inches just by clicking that and leave your lock on at the top left. And just grab either one width or height, put a four in there, and click off. And now they both should be four inches. But don't forget to go back and, and click that when you need to. But we're going to put a box on top of this to compensate for the, uh, the top of the coaster. Okay, so grab a copy of that. Just duplicate it. Drag it off to the side. And go down to the bottom and click Tool so there's no output for it. And we'll use that later to uh, center the graphic that we're going to put on there, which will be a free graphic, by the way. So I'll drop a link to that down in the description. Okay, so we have this circle. We want to make it a cut. And then we want to make a one and a half by one and a half inch box to go on top that will compensate for that little hanging piece. So grab a square, hold the shift key, and just drag it out. Leave your lock on, and grab one of these, and just go 1.5, and click off. And we're done with inches now, so you can go back up to the center here. Click that, make it millimeters again. And then go over to the left and click your selector tool. And then what we're going to do is set this right on top. And then we're going to grab the bottom and let it go in and just break the plane. And that way we can weld it to the circle and have plenty of room to put our overhang. It gives you a finger hole too. So anytime you're making a, a template for coasters, uh, you can just drop a circle off to the side or something and... Give yourself a, uh, a little finger hole so it's not so hard to pop them out. Okay, so while that's selected, press shift, select your circle, and then go over to the left and click weld. So now we're good. So we want to duplicate that and drag it down. And then that will give us... Uh, Give us room for two of them, hopefully, on that piece of cardboard. Okay, so you just want to, uh, you want to grab both of these, go up top and hit your vertical alignment to line them up a little better. And then we can do a frame and send it on over to the, to the laser to cut out. So I'm using absolute coordinates, so I can just uh, take the laser, click the laser positioning tool, Click right outside, close to where I want to be, and hopefully it goes to the right spot. Looks like it did. And then click your selector tool, click frame, and looks like we're good. So I've got a cut 
with a speed of 5 and a power of 30. I'm sure that's plenty for a cardboard, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully this works. If not, we'll do it again. Okay, here we go. Sending it over. Okay, let's pop these out and see how they work. See, a lot easier using cardboard than it is uh, chopping up expensive wood. I think we are good. It's got a little bit of play because these are kind of I don't know what they cut them out with, but they're a little, little odd shaped. But I think we'll be okay. Just center them up. All right, let's jump back in the light burn and find us a turkey to go on here. Okay, we're back. So uh, you want to leave these alone and just make them. A tool. You shouldn't have to cut those again. And then you want to grab the one we saved over here and put it inside because when we line up our graphic that's what we've got to focus on is that inside piece. So you want to select and then select the outside shift and select and then hit the bullseye. And that did not work at all, did it? Um, it's because of this piece up at the top. I knew better than that. Oh well. All right, so what we've got to do is eyeball it. That looks pretty good. We're going to call it good anyway. Then duplicate that one and drag it out and do the same thing on the bottom. And remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down on it and move the entire canvas. I can bring this in closer and that looks pretty good. All right, so we will leave that as a tool. And in fact, we can group all of this together. So it won't move. All right, let's go get a turkey. And this will be, uh, the link for this will be down in the, in the description. It's uh, public domain, free to use, however you see fit. So now, when you center that, you can leave the turkey, then you can click shift and select this center one we put in, and then hit the balls up. Damn it, gum it, what happened? I know, the turkey's not grouped. All right, folks, I'll make a bunch of mistakes, and it's probably good for you to see some of them. So select the turkey right click and group everything in the turkey and then it don't throw it all to the center all right then select the turkey shift then select the center then i just don't know what's happening yeah i do i do know all right let's get the turkey out of there Let's ungroup all of this. 
because it is trying to center on the entire thing. Let's go back and try this again. Now select the turkey that we've grouped. Shift, select only that, then hit the bullseye. And there we go. Now, let's duplicate that turkey. Bring it down. Select it. Shift. Select the circle. Bullseye. And there we go. Okay. So now let's, uh, let's write Happy Thanksgiving. So go over and grab the text tool. And just type out HAPPY. All caps. Alright, so the Academy, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, the Academy uh, font, you can use a score for it and it will, uh, it comes out pretty good. It looks like an engrave. Uh, so it's one of the, one of the few that will do that. So type out happy and click your selector tool to select. We'll make it large enough not to look weird. And then we're going to bend it around that circle. So that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit larger. So just put this in here however you like. And then we're going to duplicate that, pull it down so we can do Thanksgiving underneath. Then go back up top. And there's a, a blue dot right here. And if you click on that blue dot and hold your mouse down, then you can bend that text. And then you can get it shaped close to the circle. Get it where you think you like it, and then leave it selected. Shift and select that inner tool right there, and click vertical alignment up top, and it'll just shift it a little bit if it needs it, left or right. So down here, go to this one and just double click inside, maybe, and then you can type out Thanksgiving. And then click your selector tool and then start bending this one with the same little blue dot pull it a little bit at a time get it where you like it shift select your inner circle and then do vertical alignment. And that looks pretty good. And it probably would have been smarter of me just to get rid of this turkey and then copy all of this and put it down there. But I don't always do what is smart. So I'm just going to duplicate that and pull it down. Get it close to the top edge. Shift. Click my alignment and then vertical line. And I think those look pretty close. Then we're going to duplicate Thanksgiving. Pull it down. Do the same thing. Get it pretty close. Shift. And click that inner tool and then do vertical alignment. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so the turkeys, you also want to make a score line, and that's uh, 
whatever you have yours set for. I've got a speed of 100 with a power of 20. And if that's not enough, we will, as long as you leave everything in place, you can make some adjustments and then just do it again. So the all of the outer is a tool. All of that's tools. And the inner is set for score, even though they look close to the same color. So give me a few minutes and we will send this over and burn it and see how it looks. All right. Be right back. Okay, folks, the text actually was not set to score, but it is now. So I think we're all set. And we will give this a try, see how it looks. Okay, folks, well, looks like they turned out pretty good. Hopefully you can see that good. So when you compare these, these are, a, I don't know, a little rough hewn when you compare to something like this, which is perfectly round. So when you make your template, these should come out almost perfect. This, I don't like how the Thanksgiving ended up on the bottom there. But it came out right on this one. So, but we have coasters. So I hope you uh, enjoyed watching. I enjoyed doing it. And uh, hopefully you learned something. And I, I try to leave the mistakes in. And like I said, I make a lot of them. But it might help somebody. Uh, if you don't like seeing the mistakes, uh, you can let me know in the comments or just uh, fast forward a little bit. But uh, I leave them in to help out whoever uh, might benefit from it. So uh, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, y'all take care. We'll see you next time.